Welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Gronya and thanks for joining me. So guys, this is the second part of my spring clean series <laughs> and today I did my family room. So I also did a DIY project in it so we just touched base on it just for a few minutes. Don't panic at the beginning of the video, it doesn't take long and then I will take you on a tour of all my plants and show you what I have got and um, there are some new additions to my plants in the family room. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so a quick intro to the video. So you can see here that I have taken all the covers off my sofa and you can see it's a feather filled sofa. <laughs> so there's feathers everywhere. That's my grandson's play box because he was over today and I'm showing you here. So this is like a shiplap that I put up here last year and I was never really happy with it. I did try painting it different colors and I ended up just sticking with the white. So I will be replacing this with the same wood I have in my dining room. I'm also showing you my filthy, dirty patio door for my two dogs. So I'm going to be cleaning that also. So here you'll see I have removed all the old shiplap off of the um, bulkhead, I guess it's called. And you can see there's tons of nails in there. So we do need to get up and take all those nails out. So I have washed the covers on my sofa. These are fantastic. I have this sofa years. I brought it with me from Ireland. And I can just take off the covers off the cushions, throw them in the washing machine and put them in a delicate cycle in the dryer and back on so that they it's just the best. So I kind of did a general tidy. I washed the floors, vac vacuumed and washed the floors, but that's going to need to be done again. But now we are going to attempt to finish this. I hope the lighting is okay here. So this is probably one of my favorite areas in this room. So I bought this piece of live edge wood and you can see I, um, I oiled it. Did I put a clear varnish? I might have put a clear varnish on it. And then I bought these three pots on Amazon. I did have a heart leaf philodendron in here, but I put it out in my hall. So I got this little cutting of lemon lime philodendron for my daughter. So I just put it here and you know what, it's doing great since, it, since I put it here. And then I have two golden pothos here and the pothos you can see are doing wonderfully. This room isn't the brightest so I have my, what I call my octopus lamp here. And actually that's one of the Dollarama bulbs, can you see the pink there? That's actually a Dollarama bulb. And then I just have the light positioned on my babies. Now I also have to show you my dresser. So guys, I bought this dresser in 1999 in Ireland. It was a kitchen dresser. Um, it was a high one and it was waxed pine. So I have actually refinished it. This is the third time. But I actually cut the middle out of it and painted the doors and bought new handles and I just love it. I do have a video on how I did this over on Grania's Home and Kitchen, which I will link below if anybody wants to have a look. So well, guys, here is my Sansevieria Bantel Sensation. I love this because it tends to be a smaller Sansevieria, but it still has that beautiful upright form and it has very similar colouring to the Sansevieria Sayuri, I think it's called, which I have up in my bathroom. But I just love the variegation on this. I think it's beautiful. I've had this for probably two and a half years. Now, I have had it in very low light. So now that I have it under these grow lights, I'm wondering if it will um, grow a little bit 
more vigorously, you can see there's actually new growth in there. This is one of my newer purchases and I adore it. Let me see if I can. This is the Begonia Fedor. Look at the leaf on this. It has quickly become a favorite of mine. They were only, I think, $7.99. Look at that leaf. I showed it to my husband and I was raving over it and he said it looks like a cabbage. Typical man, hey? <laughs> so also I want to tell you a little bit about my macrame hangers. So these were actually much longer. So last night I took them apart. Now it looks a little crazy. It looks a bit like my hair when I wake up in the morning. If any of you remember the flock of seagulls group, that's what I always refer to when I wake up in the morning. But anyway, um, so I shortened it and I, um, now it's closer to the light. So it's stunning and it also gets light from this um, my octopus lamp. So this is a plant I am so proud of. This is the Sansevieria exotica. This was a one leaf cutting about a little over two years ago and look at it now. It has done tremendously. It's putting out lots of new growth. I don't remember taking a cutting but I obviously did because there's two in here now and that's what happens when you get to my age guys. You forget what you did yesterday and it is just loving life. Doesn't get any natural sunlight at all. Again, just light from these puck lights, which are, these are either between 5,000 Kelvin or 6,000 Kelvin and loves life. And I don't know if you can see how big this one is compared to my hand. And it's merrily growing away. Now I'm climbing on my furniture, guys, so I've got to get down. Okay, so here we have my favorite spathophyllum. I'm not a huge fan of Spathophyllum, but I adore this one. This is the Spathophyllum Domino. It has amazing texture, guys. It feels kind of, what you'd imagine a dragon scale, or, you know, what I would have imagined a snake felt like <laughs> until I actually held a snake. So I, I held two snakes. One I held at the Dublin Zoo at home in Ireland, and the other, I'm actually gonna put a picture in, I was at a fair, I think if, if you've been following me, you know I own stores in Ireland. And I was at a fair one time, and there was a guy there with an albino, I think it was a cobra, and it was a female. And every time he walked past me, she would come across to me and go around my neck. A lot of my friends joked and said that she wanted to eat me. But anyway, she, you know, she took a li liking to me and she kept putting her head on my heart as if she was listening to my heart. And it was just so, for me, it was very touching. I so enjoyed the experience. She was very heavy and huge. And I expected her to feel like this, like rough like this, but actually snakes are very smooth. It was wonderful, she was so beautiful. But anyway, I di digress. I had to pop this up a size last night um, because there were roots coming out. This plant needs plenty of water, guys. It's ideal in this location because my deck is a covered deck and we also have like a plexiglass on top so it doesn't get a huge amount of sun in here it gets a bit of afternoon sun but not a huge amount so this is an ideal plant for this location so here i have another um or skindapsis i should say and this is the argerius most of you probably know what it is so it's smaller leaf than the exotica but it's equally as beautiful and this is very happy here, actually very happy in this location. Again, it has light up here. And you can see how beautiful it's trailing down. So this is a new cabinet I just bought from Vandermeer Nurseries. I think it may have been an old display cabinet, but I'm absolutely delighted with it. I think it's gorgeous. So here is my ZZ Raven, guys. I've only had one shoot come out of this. I've had it for about a year, so I'm hoping I'm gonna get something new this year. But it's very happy, doing beautifully, um, no issues. I love it. I just think it's such a gorgeous plant. And again, this is a low light area, so it's perfect. So guys, what I did was I put little lights underneath here. So again, these are, I think they're 5,000 Kelvin puck lights that I ordered from Amazon. Here I have a Hoya Carnosa Princess. This was actually up there. You can see the macrame hammer, hanger is still there. And the only light it got was those two puck lights. So I decided I'd move it down here, but just to let you see how well it did up there. It had no issues. It didn't lose its variegation. It grew very nicely. 
So now I have moved it down here because I like it to trail maybe on this ca cabinet. This is an agave, guys. Did I plant? I must have planted it directly in there. Can't remember the name of it, but it is so cute. This was not expensive. I bought it in Vandermeer Nurseries and I absolutely love it. Look at this. I am so delighted with this little plant. It is a Peperomia pixie. Look at the variegation. Now, I'm not sure, is it a variegated or are they all like this? I do recall buying one of these before, but I don't remember this amazing variegation. Isn't that just stunning? And guys, I got it in Giant Tiger for, I think it was $2.25. Here is another begonia. I've had this for years. I neglected it, it was in my powder room. I forget to water it. Um, and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna bring it out to my family room. And I actually took a, if there was a little baby in there, I put it into my terrarium. And the one in my terrarium is literally flying. It's sending out so many leaves. But isn't it stunning? Let me see, can I turn it this way? So can you see that it's shiny? There's almost a metallic look to the leaf. It's just gorgeous. So it's, I'm, it's a Rex begonia, but I'm just not sure which variety. And then there is this one here, which I just bought in Vandermeer Nurseries with my Fedor. I actually don't know the name of it, but I will look it up. Isn't that stunning? Again, another ideal one in a lower light situation. And down here, guys, what room would be complete without a Birkin? So if you've been following me, you'll know I love Birkin. So this is the one I bought from Vandermeer Nurseries and I ha had it just at the patio door without any light over it. So you can see it wasn't as white as the others, but now that I've put the light on top, I'm hoping that it will brighten up. So these are my Sansevieria, which have been sitting in this corner for well over a year and get literally no light, the poor baby. And I'm sure if I moved her to a brighter area, I would get a lot of growth. It hasn't really done anything since I put it here, but it hasn't died. I water this, if it gets a watering at once every two months, that's all it gets. But you know what, it's happy. It's not growing, but isn't it such a structural piece? It's so beautiful. Here is my parlor palm that I had out on my deck last summer. Now I did lose one, there were two fronds, I guess they're called, here and one of them did die. But um, I have a little bit of browning on here, but for the most part it's happy. As I say again, not a bright area, so I have this lamp here. And actually I put one Dollarama grow bulb in there and I have one 5000 Kelvin bulb in, bulb in there. And it just gives a nice subtle pink hue to this corner. And here are the little plant boxes that I made. I do have a video on my channel. So they are Dollarama cutting boards and this is a little Dollarama box that was lined with plastic. And I put it all together and I put in a Philodendron Brazil. I've actually bought it from Valley View Nurseries, uh, gosh, I guess last year. And you know what, it wasn't the healthiest. I don't know what was going on with it, but it was in a big pot and I split it up. But it had struggled, but now I can see that it's starting to pick up in this planter here. I did have another cutting of it over in this one. However, that lost all its leaves. It didn't die, but it lost all its leaves, but I didn't want to, I just threw it out because I was afraid there was something cynical going on. So, but I had this other piece, which was also in the pot that I just planted in here to replace that one. So you can see, that one, the other one I just showed you is looking better, but I just put it in here and hopefully it will bounce back. And it's considering it doesn't get a lot of light, they're actually doing very well.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to ask below. If you've watched to the end, don't forget to put the green heart in the comments. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And as always, guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I would really appreciate if you did. Okay, guys, you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me. Take care.